Hey what's up guys and welcome to the Head Start Lab series Volume 5 on Music Production. Now this is a free tutorial brought to you by the Recording Connection Audio Program, the only program that gets you inside a real studio where you learn from industry professionals on their equipment. In this video series we're going to show you everything that you need to know about music production. And all these videos were made from real tutoring sessions at the Recording Connection. So in addition to learning in a real professional studio, all of our students receive free unlimited tutoring sessions while in the program. Let's go ahead and begin. What's up everyone, Eddie Martinez here and welcome back to the series. Now in this video we're going to go ahead and take a look at Logic Pro X's loop section. So let's go ahead and go to the top right corner and we'll actually see all of our loops. And as you can tell there's tons of loops, there's 18,254 items here. Okay, so it's actually split up in uh, you know really nice sections where you can go ahead and select you know the type of loop that you want. I also like the way it's categorized by name beats so you know how many beats are going on there you could favorite things you can uh, select things via their tempo and their key as well so all really handy stuff to throw into your arrangement now what's also great about this is that when you bring a, a loop into your arrangement if it's in a different key or in a different tempo or something like that it'll ask if you want to change your project to go ahead and fit that uh, particular loop or, or you could say no and, and adjust things accordingly as well really really handy now there's two different types of loops that you can find here there's your uh, audio wave files which are your Apple loops and your MIDI uh, MIDI patterns as well so we have two different types as you can see there's a lot of wave files before we see any of the here, I thought I saw one let's actually go up right here so there's a lot of uh, different wave files but there's also some MIDI ones right here so you can tell the difference um, by these two by looking right here right here we have a blue uh, kind of square with a wave file that's your audio wave file and then you have this green box right here with a uh, eighth note on it and that's going to be your MIDI so let's go ahead and check out some drums and let's go ahead and check out this one right here this one that says well actually let's go to yeah any of this, this section should be fine uh, let's go to this one right here that says flatland B1. Now what's also great about these loops as well is that once you drag them in it automatically selects an instrument sound that they think will sound best uh, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and hit return. Another really great thing is that let's go ahead and loop this real quick before we get into that. Another really great thing is that the way that these are categorized uh, it makes it really simple for you to go ahead and select I guess uh, the next progression of the song so obviously you have part one part two part three so let's go ahead and drag in part two we'll drag that into the same track area as well we'll loop this a little bit and cool now we have some awesome drums in our arrangement now the next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go ahead and check out maybe some synth sound something that we can go ahead and bring into our arrangement to accent our our drums so let's go ahead and do that so let's go to synths and let's go ahead and find something that progresses as well. Let's go with this dance floor pattern one. Okay. All you gotta do is just simply drag it in. We'll loop this a little bit. We'll stop it right here so that there's a little bit of a drop. Then when we pick up, we'll go ahead and pick up right here. Change it up. Cool. Let's go ahead and hear how this sounds. And we'll keep in mind that this is in the key of C as well. So when we find our next loop, we'll want to find it in the key of C. Let's hit play. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and find something in the key of C that could accent that. So we'll go with this one right here. Actually, let's find something else. Let's go with that. This one right here. 
here and loop this a little bit. Awesome. Let's go ahead and hear how this sounds. So pretty basic stuff, and I think you're getting the idea. Let's go ahead and just grab one more loop, and we'll make this next loop um, an audio file in the key of C. Maybe not that extreme. Let's go ahead and find something else. I don't think that'll fit the mood. What else we have here? I guess this will be fine just for this uh, little loop that we're doing. So let's dump it in this first audio box right here. Track. And we'll just keep this little loop as is. So let's go ahead and hit play and hear how this sounds. So now I have a really quick question for you guys. Have you ever used Apple Loops in any of your previous projects or would you consider using any of these loops in your projects? Go ahead and leave your comments and thoughts down below. And of course, as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching this video. And if you're watching this video and you're not currently enrolled to the Recording Connection, this is only a small taste of what you could be learning in our program. The Recording Connection provides all of our students with industry standard software, like Pro Tools, to take your engineering skills to the next level. We also provide books with excellent lesson plans, a professional studio engineer who will mentor you and show you how to operate real studio equipment, and so much more. With the Recording Connection, getting finance is a breeze. We have many different tuition options, so getting hooked up at a studio near you is fast and easy. For more information, check out www.recordingconnection.com.